All right. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom AI agent with complex workflows from scratch without writing a single line of code or dealing with any technicalities or configurations. It is as easy as explaining whatever stuff that you want to build in plain English, define some variables, press enter and you're pretty much sorted. For example, you could go ahead and say, I want to build a AI agent that will scrape content from all these URLs, capture the screenshot, generate images and give me the output back and press enter. And that's all you got to do. And with a couple of lines of code, you can integrate this AI agent into your application that you're developing or even schedule it to run for a specific time or date that you specify. I'll show all of that in this video. And if that sounds interesting, without wasting any further ado, let's jump straight in. All right. So this writer is Toolhouse AI and this is the platform that we will use today to create our custom AI agent from scratch. And to access the same, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and you land on this page right here. And as you can see in the homepage itself, it says create highly reusable agent with Toolhouse variables. So Toolhouse enables any developers to build AI agents and workflows, ship to production fast with best developer experience, okay? So the first thing that you gotta do is to, after you land on this page, click on the sign up option and sign up for a new account and if you want to you can go through all these contents on the home page and find more information about the platform and now that i've already signed up for a new account i'll quickly go ahead and log into the same and now once you sign into your account this is how the interface will look like and this is where all the magic happens and when you sign up for a new account you will get some credits in here that you can use to play around with toolhouse create AI agent, test it out and do a cool bunch of stuff like that. And now this writer is the interface and towards the homepage itself, you can try some of these example use cases, explore all the tools the platform has to offer and you can find your tool house execution details, the balance usage, recent executions, bundles and all that. Okay. And now if you look at the left side, here we have a sidebar. And if you click on this tools option right here, you'll be able to find all the tools that you could add to your AI agent or the different kind of features that you could incorporate into your AI agent. For example, in the feature tool section, we have web search so that you can add web search capability to your AI agent. So you can go ahead and search the web for anything and find information, or you can go ahead and add fire crawl scape, which can actually go ahead and scrape content from any URL or get the page content. Yet again, another scraper, then code interpreter to execute code generated by your LLM, or maybe we have PDF to CSV. So you can go ahead and extract all tables from a PDF and turn it into a CSV. We can send emails using our AI agent using SendGrid. Then we have Pinecorn to retrieve contents from your Pinecorn instance. Then we have current time, job opening search, perplexity search, search X. So you can literally go ahead and search X for a specific keyword or something and pull data from that. Then we have GitHub repo tool to interact with GitHub files. Then we have document parsers, taking a screenshot of a web page. For that you can use this page screenshot option and we literally have a different variety of tools that we can use and now the best part is that you can actually go ahead and use all these tools in combination to create the perfect ai agent that you're looking for okay and now for example in this video let's say i want to create a ai agent that will search for a specific keyword on google look at the top ranking pages maybe let's say five or ten top ranking pages and get the url of those pages and scrape the content of individual URLs, okay? So the AI will go ahead and scrape all the content or let's say the blog post of each of these uh, URLs and then it will use its AI capabilities to analyze the content and write an even better blog post than these that are already ranking on Google and also even generate images using AI and include within the blog post that it has written and then show me the final output. So this is like an extremely complex workflow and let's say if I was about to do it manually by myself, I'll easily have to spend anywhere between 30 to one hour just as to do this research work. I'm not even counting or taking into account the writing part. Even without that, I'll have to easily spend like 30 to one hour, 30 minutes to one hour. And that is exactly what a uh, AI agent created using Toolhouse can do in seconds. Let me show you how. So to quickly get started, all you gotta do is to click on this option that says agent studio. And now, as you can see, this interface is very simple, just like ChatGPT or Cloud. You have an input box in here. You have a variable section in here, previous stats in here. And would you believe if I say this is where you go ahead and create your AI agent? No coding, no whatsoever, just plain simple English text. You can go ahead and explain what exactly you want to do and let Toolhouse do the rest for you. So no configuration, nothing that you have to do. Everything is done using the Toolhouse infrastructure and you can start developing the same. So first up, I'll go ahead and say, go ahead and search for and now here i can include a variable so that every time i use this ai agent 
I can give a input or the topic that I want to let's say write the blog post about and I can easily replace it and to add a variable all you gotta do is to put your variable name in this particular syntax or format. So in this case I want to add a variable for mentioning the search term or the topic so I can go ahead and put this curly braces and I could go ahead and say topic okay that's all I gotta do. So go ahead and search for topic on Google get the URL of the top five ranking pages and then scrape the content from each URL you got from Google. Analyze the content from these pages and create a even better content to be posted on my website make sure to include oops include ai generated images to make the article even better so this so this is all i gotta do i've simply went ahead and created a ai agent that can literally go ahead and search google for a specific keyword find the url of the top ranking pages go through the content of each of these pages analyze the content and create a even better content that I can post on my blog and even create AI generated images and include it in the article or the content that the AI is about to create. And now this is all I gotta do. Okay. And now only thing that I need to replace in this particular prompt or this AI agent is that I need to replace the topic and towards the right side, you can find all these variables. So if you want to add, let's say another variable, you can go ahead and do that. For example, let's say you want to specify the word count. So you can go ahead and say, make the article and then open a curly braces and you can say word count okay and make the articles word count long so you can go ahead and say make the article 500 uh, words long or something like that so if you want to and you can go ahead and enter the data or let's say prefill that in here okay so that's it for now i'll remove this part right here and now all i gotta do is to put my topic or the value for the topic in here and click on the send button and i should be pretty much good to go for example i could go ahead and enter seo for beginners in here okay and now all I got to do is to click on the send button and now the AI agent will do its thing. So as you can see, it now says thinking. So let's wait. And now as you can see, first of all, it has used this web search tool to search for this particular keyword. So we went ahead and give SEO for beginners. So first of all, the AI agent used this particular tool to search for this keyword on Google and found the top five ranking pages URL and used scraper to scrape the content from top five ranking pages. So here you can find this scraper in here. And after that, the AI will go ahead and pick up all this content from these five URLs and analyze the content and use AI to write a even better content and also generate images along the way. So let's see. And now there you have it, it's completed. So after scraping the content, the AI went ahead and generated two images using the flex image generation model. And there you have it. So here we have the comprehensive guide and the article ready. So here we have introduction, key components, why SEO matters, best practices. And here we have these images. Okay. So this not, okay. This images does not really look that good because this is an infographic, but this one is actually good. And there you have it. So the AI literally went ahead and searched on Google for the keyword, analyzed the, all the top ranking pages, scraped the content, created images and wrote a even better blog post and that too in less than what two minutes. Okay. So this is how simple it is to create a AI agent. Would you believe it? I just went ahead and created a AI agent that can do this whole stuff for me in less than one minute or maximum two minutes. And you know what the even cooler part is? Let's say you're developing an application or let's say a web application or a mobile application where you want to incorporate this feature or let's say you created a AI agent using Toolhouse and now you want to incorporate the same to your application. It's as easy as clicking this code icon right here and you will get this code okay and now you can click on this sdk option and let's say i have uh i'm working with typescript so i can click on this one right here click on typescript and there you go all you gotta do is to copy this api code snippet from here and add your api key and you can start using this ai agent that you created just now you didn't write a single line of code you didn't do any complex configuration api keys or anything so think about it. How hard is it going to be for you to set up a scraper or a web search API, like integrating it into your application or the AI agent or integrating an AI image generation model like Flex? 
that's how simple it is to create a AI agent all within tool house so you have a lot of tools and you can go ahead and use it in combination to create different variety of AI agents and now if you want to you can also go ahead and schedule it as well okay for example you want this particular AI agent to run on a specific time you can go ahead and click on the schedule option right here and now you can click on this agent option and select the specific AI agent that you want to uh, run so I can select this one right here default tools and now you can go ahead and select the metadata cadence and all that so you can go ahead and enter the chat variable and create a schedule and at this particular time the AI agent will run itself and do whatever stuff that you want to for example if you have configured to send an email at the end of the execution you will get that email after the task is run you can also go ahead and create a bundle so here I have a bundle so I can select that as well and now to set up a bundle you can go ahead and click on this bundles option right here click on this button right here to create a new bundle and select all the tools that you would like to use in your bundle okay so here you have a bunch of these different tools for example let's say I want to enable this one maybe this one okay so for this one you need to enter your email and send grid API key okay for example let's say this one or maybe this one so you can go ahead and enable all this and create a bundle and use it to create or let's say run the AI agent and if you go to this option right here that says execution logs you'll be able to find all these logs so as you can see when we used our AI agent it went ahead and searched the web did a couple of the scraping image generation and all that for example if I open this one right here you'll be able to find the content that the scraper has scraped from the website so let's see look at that so this writer is the blog post that it has referred to and scraped the content so this is it and in a similar fashion you can click on this option right here to find the urls that the agent referred to let's wait as you can see here we have an article from Moz, then from hrefs then from backlingo Moz. okay so that's the articles that the AI referred to and next up let's just say i want to create a AI agent that searches for a job opportunities for a specific role and now the AI will go ahead and email me all these job opportunities along with the apply link and other information so let's say I'm a front-end uh, developer and I'm looking for some jobs and now the AI agent can help me do that for example I could go ahead and say go ahead and find job opportunities for and now I'll insert a variable in here for example I could go ahead and say role okay go ahead and find job opportunities for the dash role and send an email to again I'll put another variable and here I would say email ID email underscore ID so it says go ahead and find job opportunities for specific role and then send an email to email ID with all the necessary informations along with the link to apply for the same that's it that's all I gotta do now if I run this particular prompt or AI agent the AI agent will go ahead and search for all the job opportunities for a specific role and find all this information and find the apply link and send the same to my email address so I can go ahead and put the role as front-end developer and you can go ahead and drop your email in here for example I'll go ahead and put mine at the rate gmail.com so that's pretty much all I gotta do and now if I go ahead and hit on the send button it will go ahead and find all the job opportunities for a front-end developer and find all that information and condense it with all these apply now link and send it to my email that is this one right here and let's wait for it and now as you can see the execution is now complete and I have received the email with all these job opportunities so this right here is my email and as you can see towards the top you can find a uh, email saying job opportunities for front-end developer and if I click on that one there you go position front-end developer front-end web developer position front-end web developer location Denver okay we have all these we have apply now links as well for example let me quickly go ahead and click on one of these apply link all right so there you have it so the job description apply now link and all that how easy it is right and now yet another thing that you can do is to go ahead and schedule this particular task so you can go ahead and schedule this AI agent to run every week at a specified time and the AI agent will go ahead and find find all these job openings create a list and send an email to you along with the apply now link so every week you get that email you can go go through the link and apply it and that's how easy it is and again if you want to use this AI agent within your application you can click on this option right here and click on this SDK option and integrate it into your app how easy right 
and next up if you want to share it with someone you can click on this share option and copy the code and you can pretty much anyone can open this chat or the AI agent and start using this AI agent as well. So that's how simple it is to create an AI agent with complex workflows using Toolhouse, using their infrastructure and all these tools available without writing a single line of code. All you need to do is to explain exactly what you want in plain English, press enter, declare all these variables. For example, we have uh, one for role and email ID in here in a similar fashion. Whatever number of variables that you have, you can put it into the prompt, hit enter, and that's pretty much it. That's all you gotta do. And if you want to, you can schedule it, run it with Agent Studio, and do all that cool stuff. And now, if you click on this option that says documentation, you can go ahead and refer to the documentation to find more information about incorporating all these AI agents that you created into your application. So here we have Kickstart for Python, then we have TypeScript, all this information, okay? And next up, let's just say, before winding up the video, let me also show you at yet another one. So let me go to agent studio and create a new one and for example let's say i want to capture a screenshot of a website i can do it using agent studio i can go ahead and simply say capture a screenshot of let's say google.com and i can hit enter and now the AI will go ahead and capture a screenshot and show it on the screen let me show you all right so there you have it a screenshot of google.com and the AI agent used the anchor screenshot tool or function to do that task for you and there you have it now you could go ahead and ask me to give you feedback based on the screenshot that you took for example let's say you have a website so you could go ahead and ask the AI to take a screenshot of your website and also drop in links of a couple of your competitor websites and ask the AI to capture screenshot of them as well and compare it and let's say uh, give you tips as to how you can improve your home page or landing page and do all cool stuff like that okay so the possibilities are limitless and you can go ahead and use various tools within toolhouse in combination to create the perfect AI agent that you want and that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So this is how simple it is. And to quickly get started, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below. Go ahead and sign up for a new account and you can start using this platform to create AI agent. And better yet, you could go ahead and integrate it into your app using this simple like three lines of code is that all you need. So you could go ahead and copy the API code snippet, paste it into your app and you're pretty much sorted. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.